which is here in North Carolina. It's a super easy trail, nothing crazy. Um, we're gonna meet up, I think, with like one or two other Jeeps, but um, there's a couple water crossings, but like I said, we'll probably do it in two-wheel drive. It's not a big deal, but it's Tuesday. We wanted to do some off-roading. Um, we missed Wind Rock, so I hope you guys like the video. Stay tuned. Which is always cool so let's hope it gets a little bit more interesting be fine. Alrighty, so after Marlin's little water crossing, um, oh, oh, slippy slide. We're going back up the mountain. Basically, when I went through the water, everyone's in four low since the beginning of the gravel trail, I guess. Um, I was in two-wheel drive. I tried it in two-wheel drive. I guess I got hung up in my rear. I put my rear lockers on, still couldn't get anywhere. So there's five Jeeps behind me. So I dropped it in four low and just went. Um, I'm not trying to be there all, all day long. So yeah, I mean, we are still in the middle of the, the woods. forest, woods, yeah. But um, enjoyable. I would say this is this is more enjoyable than Hurricane Creek Trail. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a little further from us than Hurricane Creek. We'll be able to tell you in the description exactly how to get here um, from our point in, in South Asheville. I um, mean, I can always post uh, the coordinates. Yeah, you got the coordinates. Good. So, alrighty, let's keep going and see what this trail has in store for us. Alrighty, so we're we're going up here. There seems to be like decent sized little rocks. Um, the Jeep Liberty in front of us is doing. Oh, I spoke almost too soon. Let them not roll into me here. So I think that there. Yeah, they're backing up. Yeah, she just has to hit it with a little more speed. I guess. I mean, they gotta, they gotta compen, you know, overcompensate. Keep going, keep going, yay! All right, so it just looks like to be like a little root. Let's see if I can do it in two-wheel drive. Oh, yeah. So a little 
spinning, so I get it. Tow wheel drive. Yeah, but that's a Jeep Liberty on stock 30s. Tires. <laughs> I don't yeah, even know. 28s, tires. I don't know. But Those yeah. are not even all terrain tires. No. So, I think she's doing they're, fairly well. Yeah, they're doing really, really good. I would say so far, if someone's thinking of bringing their like truck, because I know there's a lot of obviously um, four wheel drive trucks out there, um, this should be doable. Yeah, um, totally doable. Uh, it, uh, we haven't encountered any tight spaces or anything like that where you would have to do like a 15 point turn or whatnot. Um, so I think this trail is very doable still from what we have seen. But at least it looks beautiful out here. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, the day's perfect today. The weather's awesome. So let me hang tight here because I've lost whoever was behind me. I think I see him coming through the trees. I hear someone like burning. Screaming? Yeah, burning tires. Spinning tires. Good. I don't see the TJ that was behind the last JK. It should be fine. Those TJs are super awesome. They're beast, but... Alrighty guys, so we have, I went up the little, the optional portion there um, and we met back up with the group, but I would say the trail, I would rate Goat Trail at least to where we're at now, a two in the 10. Um, I don't even know if we should rate trails the same as us off-road parts, but I would say a two only because a one I would give like a, a like a, a regular road, a paved road would be like a one in easy. This has a couple puddles. We're still in two wheel drive. The only time I've um, gone into four low is up that little. Water there. crossing, yeah. Well, up the crossing, yeah, but also up what I just did. Up, oh, yeah. Up the side of the mountain there. But other than that, it's still super, super doable, passable if you're in like Forerunners or any other kind of four by four vehicle. It's still totally doable. Nothing's been crazy tight. So um, we still highly recommend this for anyone that's in town or even local. You have an explorer, you want to get out on the trails, you need trail therapy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's still a good time. I don't think this is an extremely long trail but I think it's also a great place to like learn how to drive manual if like that's your thing it's not my thing I love automatic cars um especially off-roading I think fast cars I prefer manual but as far as off-roading and rock crawling I prefer automatic but this would be if you have a, one of those manual TJs or even JK's or anything really manual um this would be a great place to uh, try it out to test it to, to kind of learn the ropes and this is in the Tennessee, North Carolina state line, right? I think we're, yeah. We're in Tennessee right now, but it says that basically on the border. Yeah. So 
we're back to, back on um, the, I, I don't even know if to call this a hard packed road or a gravel road, but anyways, we're back on the more um, marked roads. And I don't know if that was it for Go Trail. I don't even know how long we've been driving. Yeah, Just it a took very, us very like, short time. like half an hour, 40 I, minutes, right? I, I, if I said 30 minutes, that would be, you know, pushing it. But yeah, I would say no more than 40 minutes. Um, but it looks like that was it. Uh, I continue to be in two-wheel drive. Like I said, there was only that, that one water crossing with the rocks that I went in four low. So completely doable for even stock Jeeps. We are with a couple stock Jeeps. JKUs look like they're all four-door. The TJ in front of us isn't stock, but he's done fairly well as well. Um, so let's see, Goat Trail, still a two out of 10. Um, would I do it again? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, probably not, but if you're looking for something to do, like I said, it's a Tuesday, we wanted to meet new people, so we went out on this trail. Uh, definitely recommend it just to see the views, to try it out, get yeah, another it trail beautiful. under your belt. And yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. Like I said, it's nothing crazy, but we wanted to give you guys something to watch. We wanted to do something today, Tuesday, so um, thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you haven't done all that jazz, and stay tuned for our next video. Alrighty guys, so um, we are about to show you this like place where like we stopped at that you have to like kind of walk through the trees, kind of to this like outlook where we're overlooking what I believe is I-40. Yeah, Don't I quote me on that. I-40 being Interstate 40 here between I mean, it's interstate, so that means that it connects North Carolina to Tennessee to, I'm sure, a bunch of other states that I have yet to adventure. But, um, so, kind of sketch, like, there's no railings, there's no steps, like, it's you, your feet, and God, um, or whatever you believe in. And so, it's there's some breathtaking views, kind of, I got kind of nauseous, I don't know why, but... Scary, super scary. Super sketch, but hopefully you guys like the clips that we took, and um, we're about to get back on road here to depart Goat Trail, so I hope you guys like the footage. Let me know. trail on the right hand side we saw kind of like a little um other mini trail and we kind of followed that all the way over here and so basically this is what you see a lot more challenging definitely in four-wheel drive um haven't used lockers because there's nothing to climb over but all these little river rocks and and with the river and or stream next to us no that's a big river yeah, that's I mean, that is called the pigeon river that's Pigeon River. Yeah. Super cool. 
So definitely more challenging. Look at this rock up here, driver's side. I'm about to crawl it. Yep, happening right now. But this is a lot more fun. I definitely say whatever the heck this is called, this is what I want to be riding like. We'll have to send it a little more than I am right now, just because. But yeah, it's, there and you can paint. definitely camp here. Oh yeah, uh, there's, there's a spot the, right yeah, there. There's a fire pit that looks like other people have done little bonfires at. But ow! <laughs> <laughs> a branch just whacked me on the side of the head. Look at these three guys. But a lot of rocks here. Yeah, Just lots of it. rocks. And so I'm assuming when it rains, there's no way that you can see all this the river or whatever. Has, yeah, the Pigeon River has to swell. In. That's a root. And we're going over it. Yep. So we basically at Windrock, which was Sunday, and today's Tuesday, we were at 8 PSI. We only aired up to 20 PS, 25? 25, 25 yeah. PSI this morning, um, just because it takes a while. We have the single compressor ARB on board. And this is the camping site that I was telling you guys about. Yeah, so, I mean, we could definitely yeah, for sure. be there or be square kind of camping invitation. Come if you can. Um, so yeah, we only aired up to 25 PSI just for lack of time. And um, we didn't know what the difficulty of this trail was gonna be. Definitely could have been completely aired up without any anything lost there, but it makes us for a smoother ride yep. to be at 25. But yeah, this is, I, I'd say this little part right here has been more fun than the entire goat trail. Have I been calling it hurricane trail? I've no. been calling, okay, so it's definitely the goat trail. But these are all river rocks. This, this definitely has to be underwater whenever it, there's like a flood or whatever. Yeah. As you can see, this is, this kind of looks like the embankment. I don't know if you can pan this way, but this looks like another embankment once there's a lot of water. I don't know who's familiar with North Carolina animals, but are there beavers here and or otters? Because that's my dream. I've always wanted to see a sloth, an otter in real life, and a beaver. I've seen otters at the zoo, obviously, and I think I've seen a sloth at the zoo. Yeah, I have. But in real, I know sloths don't live here, guys. But if you know that otters live here or beavers, let me know. Let your girl know because I definitely want to go and see that. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. This has been a lot more fun than the goat trail. Yeah, I mean, the this, goat trail I'm was sure this, scenic, like a scenery trail. Yeah, scenic trail for sure. Uh -huh. But we have to see if this even has a name because if it doesn't, we should totally name it something crazy. Yeah. That goes down to the water yeah. there, but we're not trying to do all that. So let's go back up. On the way down, we had done this in two-wheel drive, which was kind of sketchy, but we're, we're on our way up in four low, so. I would, eight out of 10, I would definitely do this trail again. This little one, the little one, not the goat trail, but the- The little one, the yeah. The little one. The side trail. Uh-huh.
guys, so as you see, it's gotten pretty dark. It is almost 8 p.m. The reason for the time lapse is basically when we got off for a little fun trail off to the side, we saw that the continuation of the trail was the water crossing that you guys are gonna see. And it's been raining, like we've said, for the last couple of days, I'd say four or five days. And I guess that particular water crossing feeds, or, or I guess a dam feeds into it. So when it rains, they let go of the dam and it was, as I mean, you guys are gonna see, it's extremely flooded where normally there's like slight water crossing over the road and it's completely doable for any vehicle. But this was pretty intense where we've tried my front wheels in it and I could feel the give and it's just completely unsafe. And we're sitting there um, for probably 10, 15, 20 minutes debating, are we gonna do this? And um, as you guys can see, we decided that it's not the best idea to do it. It's not worth losing our rig. It's not worth endangering our lives. We have to go home to our pets. And not only that, it's completely irresponsible to do something like that. The group that we were with um, also turned back no one attempted it but again they're all stock and i mean i i wouldn't recommend that crossing even for the most built jeep it is completely dangerous you guys are going to see the footage it's dangerous and responsible and just a lack of of everything that you hold dear if you do it i mean it's it, it just i i wouldn't recommend that for anyone so here we are it's almost eight o'clock we have to veer down the mountain again trying to find a bypass to not do the whole thing but if we have to we have to not a big deal we get to get home at about 10 o'clock in two hours um and and kiss our, our cat and our dog and, and everything will be fine versus sinking our jeep and god forbid and endangering our lives so um this is the trail everything looks a little scarier at night but um marlin's driving now i'm videoing and we're gonna try to get out of here as safe as possible. Like I said, the trail you guys saw during the daytime isn't, isn't, no, it's okay, isn't um, too, too difficult at all, but um, everything takes on an air of danger at night. So stay tuned. We'll bring you more footage as it, as it happens, and uh, we'll let you guys know when we get home. Well, my friends, I hope you really like this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.